Jerome Arthur Lee Adekun Tig Jr. Elvis Aguinla is a Canadian professional ice hockey player who is currently playing with the Colorado Avalanche in the National Hockey League. He most recently played for the Boston Bruins during the 2013-14 season. He was a member of the Calgary Flames between 1996 and 2013 where he served as captain for nine seasons and played briefly with the Pittsburgh Penguins in 2012 Euro 13. As a junior, Aguinla was a member of two Memorial Cup winning teams with the Kamloops Blazers and was named the Western Hockey League's Player of the Year in 1996. He was selected 11th overall by the Dallas Stars in the 1995 NHL entry draft but was traded to Calgary prior to making his NHL debut. He led the NHL in goals and points in 2001 Euro 02, and won the Lester B. Pearson Award as its most valuable player as voted by the players. In 2003 Euro 04, Aguinla led the league in goals for the second time and captained the Flames to the Stanley Cup Finals, leading the league in playoff scoring. A six-time NHL All-Star, he is the Flames' all-time leader in goals, points, and games played, and is second in assists to Al McInnes. Aguinla scored 50 goals in a season on two occasions and is one of seven players in NHL history to score 30 goals in 11 consecutive seasons. He has scored 500 goals and 1,000 points in his career. He is a past winner of the Marc Messier Leadership Award and has been recognized by both the Flames and the league for his community work. Aguinla donates $2,000 to the children's charity Kids Sport for every goal he scores. Internationally, Aguinla has represented Canada on numerous occasions. He was a member of championship teams at the 1996 World Junior and 1997 World Championships as well as the 2004 World Cup of Hockey. He is a three-time Olympian and two-time gold medal winner including at the 2002 Winter Olympics where he helped lead Canada to its first Olympic hockey championship in 50 years. Early life, Aguinla was born in Edmonton, Alberta but raised in St. Albert, Alberta. His father, a lawyer, was born in Nigeria and changed his first name from Adakul to Elvis when he arrived in Canada. His surname means Big Tree in Yoruba, his father's native language. Aguinla's mother, Susan, is originally from Oregon, and has worked as a massage therapist and music teacher. Aguinla grew up with his mother and grandparents after his parents divorced when he was a year old. While his mother is a Buddhist, he identifies himself as Christian, his father's faith. In addition to hockey, Aguinla played baseball as a young man and was the catcher on the Canadian national junior team. He credits his grandfather for his career, as with his mother working and father attending law school, he would not have had the opportunity to play sports at a high level if not for his grandfather's support. Aguinla grew up admiring other black hockey players, including Edmonton Oilers goaltender Grant Fu. Emulating Fu, Aguinla played goaltender in his first two years of organized hockey before switching to the right wing. He played his entire minor hockey career in St. Albert, leading the Alberta Midget Hockey League and scoring as a 15-year-old with 87 points for the St. Albert Midget Raiders in 1992-93. Junior career, Aguinla played three years with the Kamloops Blazers of the Western Hockey League. As a 16-year-old in 1993-94, he recorded six goals and 29 points in 48 regular season games before playing an additional 19 in the playoffs. The Blazers captured both the league title in the 1994 Memorial Cup, Canada's National Junior Championship. In reference to the Blazers' dominance of the league at the time, Aguinla described the expectations of success as being similar to those placed on the Montreal Canadiens, the NHL's most successful franchise. When you put on a Blazers jersey, it's like putting on the Canadiens. You've got to perform. Aguinla scored 33 goals and 71 points in 1994 Euro 95, his first full WHL season. The Blazers repeated as league champions, earning a trip to the 1995 Memorial Cup. Aguinla scored five goals in the tournament to lead the Blazers to a second consecutive national championship. He received the George Parsons Trophy as the most sportsmanlike player of the tournament. The Dallas Stars selected Aguinla with their first pick, 11th overall, in the 1995 NHL entry draft. However, 
On December 20, 1995, they traded him to the Calgary Flames, along with Corey Millen, for the rights to forward Joe Newendick, then in a contract dispute with the Flames. In his final season in Kamloops in 1995-96, Aginla finished fourth in league scoring with 136 points, including 63 goals in 63 games played, and was awarded the Full Broncos Memorial Trophy as the league's most outstanding player. The Blazers were upset in the Western Conference Final by the Spokane Chiefs, but Aginla still finished fourth in playoff scoring, recording 29 points in 16 games. His performance during the season earned him an invitation to play for Team Canada at the 1996 World Junior Ice Hockey Championships in Boston, where he led the tournament in scoring with 12 points and helped Canada to its fourth consecutive gold medal. NHL Career Aginla made his NHL debut in the 1996 Stanley Cup playoffs, as he was signed to a contract and flown to Calgary immediately after his junior season ended in Kamloops. He appeared in two games for the Flames in their series against the Chicago Blackhawks. In doing so, he became the first 18-year-old to play for the Flames since Dan Quinn in 1983. In his first NHL game, Aguinla assisted on a Theor and Fleury goal to record his first point. He scored his first goal in his second game. He remained with the Flames, and played his first NHL season in 1996 a Euro-97. He earned a spot on that year's NHL All-Rookie team and finished as the runner-up to Brian Berard in voting for the Calder Memorial Trophy as Rookie of the Year after leading all first-year players in scoring with 50 points. By his third season, 1998-99, Aginla led the Flames in goals with 28. His success complicated negotiations for a new contract, as he and the Flames struggled to agree on a new deal following the season. Hoping to help resolve the contract impasse, he agreed to attend training camp without a contract, and purchased his own insurance as the team would not have been responsible financially if he suffered an injury. He remained without a contract at the start of the 1999 Euro 2000 season and missed the first three games as a holdout before signing a deal worth US$4.9 million, US dollars, plus bonuses. He finished the year with career highs in goals and points. He then topped both marks in 2000 a Euro 01 by recording 31 a goals and 71 a points. After participating in Canada's Olympic summer camp before the season, Aguinla again set new personal highs in 2001 a Euro 02 when he registered 52 a goals and 96 a points. This season elevated Aguinla to superstar status. He earned the Art Ross and Morris Richard trophies as the NHL's leading point and goal scorer, respectively. He was also awarded the Lester B. Pearson Award as the league's most valuable player as voted by his peers, and was a nominee for both the Hart Memorial Trophy and the King Clancy Memorial Trophy. The Hart Trophy voting proved to be controversial, again tied Canadians goaltender Joseph Copyright the Copyright Odor in voting points, but received fewer first-place votes than the Copyright Odor. However, one voter, rumored to be from Quebec a Euro the copyright Odor and the Canadian's home province a Euro inexplicably left Aginla off his ballot. As a result of the controversy that followed, the Professional Hockey Writers Association changed the rules on how its members voted for the award to prevent a recurrence. Aginla was a member of Team Canada's Olympic gold medal winning hockey team in 2002 at Salt Lake City and in 2010 at Vancouver. There were fears Aginla would again hold out after his contract expired following the season. These fears were unfounded, however, as he signed a two-year, $13 million deal before the season and was looked on to again lead the Flames offensively. Aginla fell back to 67 points in 2002 a Euro-03 as injuries, including a lingering finger dislocation following a fight, diminished his play. His 35 goals were still enough to lead the Flames for the fourth time in five seasons. Despite his offensive contributions, the Flames missed the playoffs. Flames captaincy, at the start of the 2003 Euro 04 season, Aguinla was named the 18th captain in Flames franchise history, and 14th since the team moved to Calgary from Atlanta in 1980. His predecessor as captain, Craig Conroy, cited Aginla's experience and leadership for his decision to relinquish the captaincy to Aginla. 
he was a leader on that team and old enough to where he had been there a long time. It was time for him. He took us to the Stanley Cup final that year so it worked out pretty well. Aguinaldo was reported to be the first black captain in NHL history, though former Black Hawks captain Dirk Graham, who is of African descent, has also been said to hold that honor. Aguinaldo responded to being named captain by capturing his second Rocket Richard Trophy, sharing the goal-scoring title with Elia Kovalchuk and Rick Nash with 41 goals. The Flames qualified for the 2004 Stanley Cup playoffs as the sixth seed, the team's first playoff appearance in eight years. Aguinaldo led all playoff scorers with 13 goals as he captained the Flames to their first Stanley Cup Finals appearance in 15 years. The Flames were unable to defeat the Tampa Bay Lightning, however, falling to the Eastern Conference champions in seven games. A dejected Aguinaldo sat in the Flames locker room after the final game and was met by his father, who told his son that I'm proud of you. All of Canada is proud of you. While he was hailed as the best player in the world following his performance in the playoffs, Aguinaldo spent the 2004 Euro 05 NHL lockout focused on improving his game further. Following the lockout, he was named as one of six player representatives on the newly created NHL competition committee, with a mandate to suggest recommendations for ways to improve the game. He held this position until early 2008. On December 7, 2006, Aguinaldo reached a career milestone when he scored his 300th career goal and 600th career point against the Minnesota Wild. He was expected to play in the 2007 NHL All-Star Game in Dallas. However he missed the game with a knee injury. The injury kept him out of 12 games in 2006 a Euro 07. He nevertheless scored 94 points, including a career-high 55 assists. The 2007 Euro 08 season saw Aguinaldo post his second career 50-a-goal season, adding 48 assists for a career-high 98 points, good for third overall in the league. He was voted to the starting lineup of the 2008 NHL All-Star Game along with teammate Dion Fainouf, and was named captain of the Western All-Star Team. He broke the Flames franchise record for games played when he played his 804th career game on November 29, 2007, against the Anaheim Ducks. He also broke the Oren Fleury's franchise record for goals when he scored his 365th on March 10, 2008, against the St. Louis Blues. Aguinaldo was nominated as a Hart Trophy finalist for League Most Valuable Player for the third time, though he again did not win the award. During the season, he signed a five-year contract extension with the Flames at $7 million per season. Aguinaldo continued his pursuit of Fleury's franchise record of 830 points in 2008 Euro 09. He recorded his 800th point with a first-period assist against the Chicago Black Hawks on December 19, 2008. He ended 2008 with a career-high five points in a New Year's Eve game against the Edmonton Oilers. He had 14 previous four-point games. In January, he was named to the 2009 NHL All-Star Game in Montreal, his fifth such selection. Representing the Western Conference, Aguinaldo scored his first career NHL All-Star Game goal in a 12-Euro-11 shootout loss. He passed Fleury as the Flames' all-time scoring leader on March 1, 2009, scoring five points, including his 400th career goal in an 8 Euro 6 loss to the Lightning. He finished the season with 35 goals and 89 points, but a disappointing playoff performance led to questions of whether he had been playing with an injury. Aguinaldo quickly denied the rumor, admitted that he had not played with the level of consistency he expected and stated that he would spend the summer focused on improving his play in 2009 Euro 10. Milestones The Flames struggled in 2009 Euro 10, failing to qualify for the playoffs for the first time since 2003. Aguinla accepted responsibility for the team's failure, admitting that finishing around 70 points for the season was not enough. The team's declining fortunes and Aguinla's season led to increasing questions on whether he could be traded from the team he has played his entire NHL career with. Aguinla, who would have to approve any trade the team attempts to make due to a no-movement clause in his contract, expressed that he did not wish to leave Calgary, 
but would accommodate a trade if the Flames wished to do so. Former Flames general manager Craig Button argued against trading Aguinla, blaming a lack of complementary players for both Aguinla and Calgary's failures. There's nothing easier in hockey than to be able to shut down one player. And the Calgary Flames, I would argue, have made it really easy for teams to shut down Jerome. The Flames have publicly stated that they do not plan to trade him. Individually, he reached 900 career points in a two-goal, two-assist effort against the Oilers on January 30, 2010. Six nights later, Aguinla played his 1,000th career game against the Florida Panthers. Aguinla struggled offensively to begin the 2010 Euro 11 season, and with the Flames falling to the bottom of the standings, there was continued speculation over his future in Calgary. Team management repeatedly reiterated that they were not interested in moving him to another team. Improving his game as the season wore on, Aguinla reached another personal milestone, recording his 500th career assist on January 11, 2011, the same day he was named to play in his sixth All-Star game. He announced several days later that he had declined to play in the All-Star game as he wished to spend the time with his ailing grandmother. Aguinla scored his 30th goal of the season on a penalty shot against the Nashville Predators on March 6, 2011, and in doing so became the 10th player in NHL history to score at least 30 goals in 10 consecutive seasons. A month later, he scored his 1,000th career point, notching the game-winning goal against the St. Louis Blues in a 3-Euro 2 win on April 1, 2011. Aguinla scored his 500th goal on January 7, 2012 against Nikola's bar currency CKSTRA paragraph M of the Minnesota Wild in a 3-Euro-1 victory. He was the 42nd player in league history to achieve the feat, and the 15th to do so with one organization. Midway through the 2011-Euro-12 NHL season, Aguinla was named an All-Star for the seventh time in his career, representing the Flames at the 2012 All-Star game. Aguinla scored his 30th goal of the 2011 Euro 12 season in a 3-2 win against goalkeeper Auntie Naomi of the San Jose Sharks on March 13, 2012. He is the seventh player in league history to score 30 goals in 11 consecutive seasons. Pittsburgh and Boston Playing the final year of his contract in 2012 a Euro 13 and with the team languishing near the bottom of the NHL standings, Speculation about Aguinla's future in Calgary was again raised as the April 3, 2013, trade deadline neared. National media outlets reported that Aguinla, who had a clause in his contract preventing the Flames from moving him to another team without his permission, had given the organization a list of four teams he would be willing to accept a trade with, the Chicago Black Hawks, Los Angeles Kings, Boston Bruins or Pittsburgh Penguins. The Bruins were considered the leading contender to acquire Aguinla's services, and after he was held out of the lineup of Calgary's March 27, 2013, game against the Colorado Avalanche, it was reported that a trade between the two teams had been completed. Instead, Aguinla's 16-year career in Calgary ended when he was sent to the Penguins in exchange for Pittsburgh's first-round selection of the 2013 NHL entry draft and college prospects Kenneth Agostino and Ben Hanoski. Aguinla stated that playing with Crosby and Malkin played a factor in his decision to move to the Penguins. The Bruins and Penguins met in the 2013 Eastern Conference Finals. Despite having the top-scoring offense in the league, the Penguins lost the series without winning a game. Aguinla, along with Crosby, Malkin, James Neal and Chris Letang, registered a combined zero points in the series. Aguinla was moved to the third line after a 6-1 game due loss. Milan Lusik said after the series that Aguinla's spurning of Boston ignited the Boston sweep, when a guy chooses another team over your team, it does light a little bit of a fire underneath you, as a free agent following the season. Aguinla chose to go to Boston and signed a one-year, $6 million contract with the Bruins. He required nine games before scoring his first goal as a Bruin, as part of a 2 a Euro one win over San Jose, but settled in on Boston's first line with Milan Lusik and David Krejci. He made his first return to Calgary on December 10, 2013 where the fans greeted him with a long-standing ovation prior to the game as the Flames played a video tribute. Following the contest, a 2-1 Euro 1 Bruins victory, 
Aguinaldo was named the game's third star and took two laps around the rink to more cheers from the crowd. He recorded his 600th career assist in a 3 Euro 1 victory over the Vancouver Canucks on February 4, 2014. Colorado Avalanche, unable to extend his stay with the Bruins due to cap constraints, on July 1, 2014, Aguinaldo signed as a free agent to a three-year $16 million deal with the Colorado Avalanche. International play, Aguinaldo first represented Canada at the 1994 Nations Cup, an unsanctioned tournament for players under the age of 18. He led Canada in scoring with five goals and nine points as it won the gold medal. Two years later, he joined the national junior team at the 1996 World Junior Ice Hockey Championships. He led the tournament in scoring with five goals and 12 points as Canada won its fourth consecutive gold medal. He was named an All-Star and the tournament's top forward. One year later, Aguinla played in his first tournament with the senior team, competing at the 1997 World Championships as a 19-year-old, the youngest player on the team. He recorded two goals and three assists in 11 games as Canada won the gold medal. A late invitation to join Team Canada's summer camp in preparation for the 2002 Winter Olympics helped Aguinla emerge as a star player. He was so surprised by the invite he initially thought one of his Flames teammates was playing a prank on him. He scored two goals in the gold medal game, a 5 Euro 2 victory over the United States, as Canada won its first Olympic gold medal in 50 years. With this win, Aguinla became the first black man to win a gold medal at the Winter Olympics. Aguinla also represented Canada at the 2004 World Cup of Hockey as an alternate captain, playing on a line with Joe Sakic and Mario Lemieux. Canada won the gold medal. Aguinla participated in his second Olympics and was an alternate captain at the 2006 Turin Games, recording three points in six games. The Canadians were unable to defend their 2002 gold medal, losing to Russia in the quarter-finals. Named an alternate captain once again for the 2010 team in Vancouver, he opened the tournament with a hat-trick against Norway. He finished as the tournament leader with five goals, and assisted on Sidney Crosby's overtime winning goal in the gold medal final against the United States. Playing Style Aguinla is considered to be one of the NHL's most prominent power forwards. Upon entering the league, he tried to emulate players like Brendan Shanahan and Keith Kakuk, hoping to match their combination of finesse and physicality. He is one of the most consistent scorers in the league. Between 1998 and 2008, only Jeruma Ajajia scored more NHL goals than Aguinla. Even so, Scouting reports have argued that Aguinla's lack of speed makes it easier for opponents to isolate him and restrict his ability to move if his teammates rely on him too much to lead the offense. The abuse he faced at the hands of opponents early in his NHL career prompted Aguinla's coaches to work at developing his physical play. While he was not enthusiastic about fighting, Aguinla accepted then-head coach Brian Sutter's arguments that he needed to adopt a more aggressive style to improve as a player. Aguinla is most effective when he has room to maneuver, and to create that space, he had to intimidate his opponents. The lessons Aguinla learned have carried throughout his career. You've got a power forward who does it all, said Craig Conroy. I mean, he'll fight, and hit, and score goals. Maybe it's not the end to end rushes, but he does all those little things that win games and get things done. His opponents also respect his play. Rob Blake said that while Aguinla is not known for fancy play, he'll run you over. Or he'll fight somebody. And then he'll score a goal. He does pretty much everything you'd want a guy to do. Aguinla has recorded several Gordie Howe hat tricks. His fights, including one with Tampa Bay star Vincent LeCavalier in the 2004 Stanley Cup Finals, have had a motivating effect on his play and that of his teammates. Aguinla has suffered injuries as a result of his fighting, including a broken hand from a 2003 fight with Bill Guerin of the Dallas Stars. His physical style of play also leads to a greater risk of persistent injuries and penalties. He commands the respect of his peers, and has been known to stand up to the coaching staff to defend a fellow player. Former teammate and present Edmonton Oilers captain Andrew Ferenc Euro a former Bruins player himself, 
before Aguinla's arrival on the Boston team's roster a Euro once described following Aguinla as like following a friend. Preferring to lead by example, Aguinla is not regarded as a vocal captain. He likes to speak with players individually, and tries to ensure that all of his teammates are comfortable. He was named the recipient of the Marc Messier Leadership Award in 2009. Personal life, Aguinla married his high school sweetheart, Cara, and the couple has three children, daughter Jade and sons Tij and Joe. They had been dating since they were in the eighth grade. He has two half-brothers, Jason and Stephen, and two half-sisters, Teresa and Elizabeth. Teresa played for the University of Saskatchewan Huskies women's hockey team for two seasons from 2003 to 2005. He is an avid golfer and a regular participant in the Calgary Flames celebrity charity golf classic. He is well known for his kind-hearted nature. Former Flames general manager Craig Button described Aguinla as being grounded, he doesn't carry himself with any attitude or arrogance. He's confident in his abilities. He's self-assured. He's genuine. He's a better person than he is a player, and we all know what kind of player he is. In 2002, while in Salt Lake City for the Winter Olympic Games, Aguinla struck up a conversation with four Calgarians sitting next to his table, and found out they were sleeping in their car outside of the hotel. He excused himself from the conversation, and booked them accommodations at his own expense at the hotel his family was staying in. Since 2002, he has operated the Jerome Aguinla Hockey School in Calgary as a non-profit organization, donating proceeds to the Diabetes Research Association. In 2004, he was awarded the NHL Foundation Player Award for his community service and the King Clancy Memorial Trophy in recognition of his humanitarian contributions. Aguinla supports many charities. In 2000, he began donating $1,000 per goal he scored to Kids Sport, a figure he doubled to $2,000 in 2005. Between 2000 and 2013, he donated more than $700,000 from this initiative. Aguinla is a part owner of the Kamloops Blazers of the Western Hockey League, for whom he played during his junior hockey days. He purchased a minority share in the franchise, along with fellow NHL players Shane Doan, Mark Recchi and Daryl Sider, in October 2007. He is also an ambassador with the NHL Diversity Program, which supports youth hockey organizations that offer economically disadvantaged kids the opportunity to play. Since 2008, he has been a hockey spokesperson for Scotiabank, appearing in commercials and at events supporting its grassroots hockey programs, as well as for Samsung Canada. Career Statistics, Regular Season and Playoffs Statistics as of end of 2013-14 NHL season International, All-Star Games Awards. Major Junior, NHL, Calgary Flames Team Awards, International, see also. List of ice hockey players of black African descent, list of NHL statistical leaders, references, general, awards and honors, Hanlon, Peter and Kelso, Sean 2008 a Euro 09 Calgary Flames Media Guide. Calgary Flames PPA 59 a Euro 61 a, career statistics, Player profile a Euro Jerome Aguinla. Hockey Hall of Fame. Retrieved December 9, 2008. A. Footnotes. External links Jerome Aguinla's career statistics at eliteprospects.com, Jerome Aguinla's biography at Legends of Hockey, Jerome Aguinla's career statistics at the Internet Hockey Database, Jerome Aguinla's player profile at nhl.com, Jerome Aguinla at the Internet Movie Database, Pittsburgh Post Gazette profile.